I'm not sleeping very well My concentration gone to hell I've fallen under some ancient spell Must be the gypsy in you If you're not looking for a game of... Good morning Welcome to day two of the long walk home <laughs> I like that uh, so yeah nice little rest last night nice to be in a proper bed uh, it's been a while um, but yeah tonight back to wild camping and I'm quite excited for it actually because there's no point me carrying this big pack around so right yeah well rested I feel pretty good um, shoulders hurt a bit but the legs are fine so that's the main thing um, so I think about 25 kilometers to do today Maybe a bit more. It's 11 o'clock. I didn't want to set off too early. I think about six hours walk. Um, but yeah, we're going to... I'm in a place called Tisted. I'm guessing I'm in Hampshire. I'm not too sure. I'm going to head through Selcombe, through Hanger, past Alton, to a place called Thrift End, I think. And I really marked a little forest there uh, for a little camp. But anyway, enough rabbiting. Let's crack on. I think this is the right way, maybe not. Well, I guess it's through here. <laughs> Good start. All right, let's do it. All right, first climb of the day. Not too bad, it's only a short one, but pretty steep. Just, uh, we're strolling through the fields and it's taking me up onto this little ridgeway. But it's beautiful up here. But yeah, it's a bit warmer than yesterday. Oh, so I set off a bit later, so. Yeah, a bit hot, but all good. Right, it's been uh, down the road a bit and now sending me through here this spooky little path through the tree line how cool is this it's getting pretty tight <laughs> a massive pack on my back I hope I've not made a wrong turn. Pretty tough going up here. Oh, ouch. <laughs> I'm happy I'm not on my bike, for sure. Trying to get on. Don't kid yourself. You think you're chasing fame. <laughs> awesome. Unless you got well-funded land. Oh, so I was going to cut these off this morning and I thought no, the mission's not over yet we'll keep them on until we get home and then they're getting chopped off onwards I think I've invaded someone's field Up the horns, going around. <laughs> Do not buy those horns near me. It's absolutely stunning in here. I think it's leading up to Selborne Hill. Is uh, what it says on my maps. Beautiful place to camp. But I've only been going an hour and a half, so definitely too early for that. So I was thinking, I wanted to get home by Sunday, which is five days all in all. But I think if I push on, I can probably get home Saturday evening. It's going to be about 30 kilometers a day. So I've done 22 yesterday. Um, but yeah, so, so I'm feeling surprisingly strong. 
uh, after yesterday. So yeah, see how today goes. If I could get home for Saturday, it'd be nice because then Sunday chill out and then Monday, <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to go back to work. Um, but that's miles off. We're not gonna think about that yet. We're just gonna enjoy the nature. I mean, what a great decision it was to do this walk after Boomtown. Always get the festival blues when it's finished. But yeah, nice bit of exercise. But out in nature by myself, that is definitely the cure that was needed. Feeling amazing. All right, crack on. All right, God knows what that is. I'm guessing it must be steps. Uh, but yeah, crazy path coming up. So I just wanted to show you quickly. I'm using Kamut as always. Uh, they've got a, an option now, like mountaineering hiking. Obviously we don't have any uh, mountains around this area, but lots of hills. So it's the first time I'm using it. I haven't got a GPS, I'm just checking my phone every now and again. But yeah, that's it. Just plotted the route out. It is 100 and, uh, 108k all in all. They reckon it should be 28 hours, so I'm reckoning in five days. Uh, and yeah, not doing too bad already. Uh, that's almost a quarter done. So yeah, lovely. We trust Kamut, we love it. Oh, the tree's been split in two by some lightning or something. It's really incredible. So, steps down there I was right. So yeah, that was a uh, Selborne Park or Selborne Hill. We just walked through absolutely stunning that was incredible i was in there for about 45 minutes but yeah i could have just stayed in there all day but miles to do so yeah gonna sit down here have some water enjoy that view and get down the steps all right not really so much steps but, uh, yes, switchbacks but still really cool Just stopped for lunch in the uh, Selborne Arms. Uh, it's pretty rank, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, some burnt chicken burger. Uh, but I've done a bit of a reroute because um, I need a shop. And as much as these beautiful little villages are lovely, there's no shops anywhere. So I'm going to take a detour through Borden, uh, which is quite a big town, I think. And the Tesco's there. It's about two hours away from here, I think, walking. Uh, so that's going to be my next port of call. <coughs> and then I think I've found somewhere decent to camp. Uh, so yeah, it's added up about another four kilometres onto the journey, which I didn't really want. But, um, oh, we're getting a bit overgrown. Uh, but yeah, it's got to be done. I need to be able to cook some food. I need a frying pan. I uh, don't know where I'm going to put it. To wear it, maybe. Uh, but yeah, that's the new plan. On we go. this gate I think I'm heading down there let's have a look never entirely sure but that's half the fun all right deep deep down oh yeah now look at that amazing that's stunning oh I wish I was camping here pond in there surviving looks pretty dry can't get through to it 
still pretty cool. Over the bridge. And where's the path gone? <laughs> Not a clue. Found a sign. This way. I do love not knowing where I'm going. Yeah, this is cool. Oh, steps. Water's heating up now, getting hot, hot. So yeah, just follow this path, which is a lovely path, but I'm right by uh, a busy road over there. So it's not the great, but it's to be expected because I've got to head into town to get to Tesco's. But uh, yeah, lovely to look at. Just a shame about the car zooming past. But yeah, it's heating up, hot afternoon. Right, made it, it's Tesco's. God, I am knackered. Oh, I've only done 18 kilometers. I've got another 14 to do. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get some food, some water, and uh, try and find somewhere to have a nap, I think, for a little bit. It's half past three. I've got about another three hours walking. Right, right rest and refuel. Alright, so I've been sitting here for the last half hour. I'm knackered. Tesco's was a blowout, no frying pans. I walked some food. Um, but I'm just shattered. Uh, the last half hour so it just killed me. So I just checked the maps. I'm 42 kilometres in out of 112, uh, 112. So I've done 20 today. I've got about another 10 to go. Uh, to where I wanted to camp uh, which is about another two hours um, but to be honest I, just, I don't know if I've got it in me but I've checked the hotels there's nothing really close it's only up really where I was going to camp anyway there's no campsites or anything so I'm not quite sure what my options are uh, but I've had a rest I have a quick beer some chicken drumsticks uh, and yeah, I think it's just going to be get up and crack on. It's about five o'clock now. Um, but yeah, no options really. It's just my legs are killing. Uh, but what can you do? So yeah, I'm just going to finish this off, uh, pack my stuff back up, and then um, yeah, keep on walking. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's crack on. All right, we're on the move again. Feel a little bit better. Still pretty tired though. So yeah, I reckon about a two hour walk until I get to where I want to go. Not sure if I'm going to make it that far. I'm just going to keep going until, uh, until that's it. But no other options. I'm not opposed to a little cheat every now and again, you know, but uh, nothing really to do, apart from keep on walking. But still beautiful out, so let's keep going. Fir tree forest now. Lovely. Smells amazing. So many trees spread out at the perfect distance for a hammock. <laughs> but we're fenced off both sides. And I'm not uh I'm not quite there yet. It's still too early.
Nice, when the route takes you straight for a quarry. <laughs> Lovely. All the little black sheep on the side of the family. <laughs> Seven o'clock, still walking. <laughs> still climbing. Oh, yeah, ouch. Oh. Oh, another bridge, another river. Oh, look at that. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. This doesn't look very wild, and it's not. Um, I gave in. I, got, I, got, I, got, <laughs> I booked a hotel. I was coming up near to one of the hotels I saw, and I was like, right, do you know what? I haven't got the energy to do it. So, welcome to the Frencham Hotel in Frencham. Guy at reception has just upgraded me to this room as well, which is sweet. <laughs> so, yeah. Bit of a cheat, and you know what? I don't care because I am tired. That was more than I should have done today. I just hit 52 kilometers over the two days, so 30 today, which leaves me 60 to get home, which is another 30, another 30. Uh, so I'm on track with what I wanted to do, but wow, that was too much. Um, I might have a look at the route today, tonight, see if I can shorten it a bit. Um, because yeah, I'm no Iron Man or anything. It's like, uh, uh, it's just too much, but we made it and I'm happy. I'm gonna chill out now. All right. Okay. Good night from Frensham.